Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the Western Alliance Entry Era 2 Tech Tree Medium Tank, the AMX 30B66. Now if you do like the video, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe down below as it really does help out the channel. And yes, the 30B66, it was a tank that I didn't actually mind grinding through for an Entry Era tank. Quite a few of the Entry Era vehicles that they've released in the tech tree i have thoroughly detested i've just not enjoyed playing them i didn't play like, i didn't like the m60 i hated the centurion 9 that vehicle hated me and i hated it but this one i really didn't mind it fires heat as standard which is truly not very nice it means you really have to get the most out of it by playing well pretty much you've got to know exactly where you have to shoot things and hope that it will go through because heat will just get absorbed by a lot of spaced armor. But it's got a pretty decent reload. The gun handling on it felt okay. And to add to that, the one of the reasons that I truly did love it was the 20mm auto cannon that this tank packs. Because the 20mm auto cannon just gave me a dynamic that the others couldn't. And that is the ability to just shred things. And especially when you get the YOLO light tanks, which happens all the time, you could track them and then just utterly destroy them like they have no hope like they just get shredded and sit there going no my hit points as you eviterate them right and it's really really nice to use and i really really did enjoy three marking the mx 30 b 66 i just love that oil cannon the gun felt all right it's got 400 pen on its standard rounds with the heat as the only option for that standard round which is pretty atrocious but you don't mind it that much when you can do stuff like this that poor Tyran 6. Oh my lord. That was 30 seconds and we've done 2.2k damage. Oh yeah. That's why I like this thing. That bounced because that was, well, poorly aimed number one. And, well, we, yeah, it just got absorbed by the space armor. But once again, this is why I like this tank. Because of this. <laughs> so, in the space of probably one minute there, we've done 4k damage. Yep, that's why I like the 30B66. That's why I like all of the AMXs in Era 2. Because of that ability to do that. It is so deadly. You cannot underestimate how good it is for that. And it gets you out of dodge so much more than some of the other entry era vehicles you play. Because they don't have that capacity to just deal with that sort of YOLO. And they just generally go trade one for one until they die, pretty much, because there's not much you can do. You can't bounce anything. You just have to just like it or lump it, pretty much. And I definitely have thoroughly enjoyed the 30B66 and all the, like I said, the Amex series. And they're pretty handy as well for the German light tanks. So not so much with this one, but I've had it with the Amex 30B2 and with the Brennus, because I did three more the Brennus as well, where you can just shred things with the beautiful auto cannon, and they just, if you track them, especially when you realize they're going to fire the missile and then just shred them, oh, it's, it's a very, very good time. So what do I run in terms of a crew and equipment on the AMX 30B66? Well, I do run Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Six Sense, Steady Aim, Snapshot, Run and Gun, Dead Eye, Clutch Breaking, and Track Mechanic. Track Mechanic, because it does tend to get its tracks blown off. Because, well, if it takes a shot in the side, its tracks do just go. Which can be pretty awkward. So I try and get the tracks back on as quick as possible. All the gun perks, once again, just make the gun as good as I can do so that it does actually hit the shots and then the dead eye because that machine gun well that increasing the chance of doing module damage for every shell entering someone's tank is going to be a good time with the auto cannon with dead eye that's why we do it and then clutch braking just to make it turn that a little bit quicker and then in terms of the equipment we would ran loader the gun stabilizer and optics i went for a fairly world war ii setup on that because number one gun stabilizer wants to make the gun as good as possible because we just want it to be able to hit all the shots if i want to hit them the loader, naturally, to make my DPM better, which is always what we want to do. And optics, because I wanted, in this three-mark grind, to up my assistance capacity. I wanted to be able to spot things at further distances, and that way, if I did spot them and my team shot them, I would boost up how much damage I was getting on my assistance damage, and naturally, that helps me with my lock of excellence, right? That's why I, that's why I wanted it. But it's just... it's. I love the auto cannons. I love the auto cannons on these franchises because 
it, they're just so devastating. And when you catch people out, like we did that Turan earlier on, and you go in on people, oh, it's just beautiful. You have to, again, because you've only got 87 millimeters of penetration on that 20 millimeter auto cannon, you have to know where you're shooting and what you're shooting against as to whether you're going to be able to pen it. Like the T62, we went up against firing the auto cannon against him. We couldn't pen the T62 because actually he's got like too much armor on his side to be able to go through, so we didn't pen it. But something like a T-72, we can. So we're getting YOLO'd here. And I'm like, don't ram me. Oh, thank goodness he didn't ram us because he would have killed us. But we loaded the auto cannon, shooting at the rear below the log. And we can shut that T-72 AV down with the auto cannon. We weren't actually going to pen an AV, sadly, with heat only. But yeah. First game with six kills. That 11,124 damage. Bit of direct assistance. The ace tanker, the high caliber, the top gun. The 1801 base XP, a pretty damn nice game there for the 30B66. Yeah, that I, I I wax lyrical about that 20mm auto cannon because it's just such a strong asset for this vehicle. It really, really is. Because this is the way you want to play it. Again, you want to play it to assassinate. So if you know there's a tank that you can just completely eradicate with the 20mm auto cannon, like we got into a very good flanking position earlier on in that game. And that meant that we caught them all out. We knew that the Turan 6 we could pen in the rear. And if we could just get the heat shells in and just start machine gunning him, we'd be able to get a lot of damage. And you saw it in like less than 30 seconds. We had 2.3k 2, 2. 2, 2. damage. And then the 30B2 YOLO'd us. And because we got the drop on him and he went past us too much, we managed to machine gun him with our auto cannon. And then hit him with the main cannon as well. And we, you know, within a minute from killing the Turan 6, we'd got another 2,000 damage. It's just that strong, and that's why I thoroughly enjoyed playing this 30B. Even though it's got the downside of having only heat. And the big problem for this tank is the fact that it does fire only heat. Because 400 pen is great on these standard rounds, which is fine. You'll pen most things that you can pen in that, you know, in spots that aren't spaced armor. You can pen pretty much everything in the area with that 400 pen. But there are tanks that. Unless you get the rear for the machine gun, or in general, you're not really going to do much, too much too. And stuff like the T-72 AV that you saw at the end of the last game is one of those. AVs, the Soviet vehicles in general, you're not really going to do too much to them because the heat just gets absorbed in their ERA or their spaced armor, and you don't do too much damage to them. And they're an absolute pain to deal with for this vehicle, and that is a real downside. And I'm never going to sugarcoat that. The, the heat round with, well, the only having a heat round as a means of penetration is just is going to give you performance issues and we know gentlemen we don't like performance issues and that's what this vehicle can have against spaced armor so yeah bear that in mind when you do play it you've really got to know what you're going in against what you're going to try and target and where you're trying to use this auto cannon against because if you don't use this auto cannon naturally you're just doing yourself a disservice playing this vehicle and it's really going to be an absolute horrible experience because you just see how much it shreds. You see how much I use it? I use it a lot. Every single opportunity I have to use it, I will. <laughs> and it just farms you up the damage. So we're up to 3.2k damage with 7... Well, 3.2k damage with 332 assistance. There we go. We're getting there. Brain gets there in the end. Just try and get the shot snapped into the RDF LT. But we can't quite get the shot into that guy as we're coming after him. The Amex 30B2 up there makes me hesitate for a second. It is currently 12-8, but we know where most of their team is. We're trying to get the shot snapped into the Type 80-2, but that ended up just not penning. And I want to go after this guy again, because he's given us his side and possibly his rear. I'm thinking maybe I can track this guy, get him in the rear, and auto-cannon him. And that'd be glorious. But we got up behind the Amex 30B2. Finish off that guy. The Type 80-2 is coming in, and again, we, we know that we could possibly pen him in the rear but sadly we just couldn't get behind him to use it but he got shut down by our bandit friend there's five tanks left there's the heavy tank at g4 there's the heavy tank at d5 and there was something spotted down at f7 so what we're going to do is just yolo forward and try and get behind this av because i'm expecting this av to be facing the heavy tank in front which means i can machine gun him and yes yes he is hello mr av let me machine again just look how fast his hit points disappear and i didn't actually kill it there and there we go we actually do finish it off you see you saw, saw me go aha i should have killed it now oh wait it didn't die oh well have some more bullets and then we finished it again his hit points vanished in the blink of an eye catch people out 
it's they, they're going to know about it. Naturally, you have no armor, so if they do YOLO you, they're going to pen you. But especially if they're the, some of the YOLO light tanks, they're fantastic at dealing with it. So we get the shot in snapped in to shut down the Leopard 1. And because we're going for the third mark, I decided, you know, I could kill the Chieftain. Or I could just machine gun the rear and side of this Leopard 2 AV because I just need more damage. And that's what we managed to get. We managed to get another, like, 1,700 damage off of that guy and put our total up to 7.1k damage. Came second on the team with 570 assistance, so that's what, 7.6k combined at the Confederate medal. And we got the third mark of excellence on the 30B66, which was a hell of a fun grind for the third mark. I really do enjoy it, but then I just enjoy these 20mm auto cannons that these Frenchies have because it's just so devastating. And when you get those full clips, like the kills on both the start of that last game, the kill on the Turan 6 and the 30B2 was just so satisfied it was so glorious that yeah it's just juicy generally so that's it for the video so thank you very much everybody for watching and i'll see you next time Success.